Well, what a pleasant surprise. I didn't expect these buds to bloom yet, but I just went outside for uh, some fresh air and discovered that this other wire mannequin um, is blooming. So as I mentioned in the last video, it just all depends on where you know whether 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 buds come in where where the bloom is gonna um, you know where where the bloom is gonna uh, come you know the position of the bloom determines the look of the planter but um it's just sitting here at the stairway looking at this planter. And uh, taking in the beautiful fragrance that the Epiphylum hookery gives. But you can see this is um, a different look. The last one has, you know, I guided, I guided the growth. Um, so it has a, and it has gemstone on it. Uh, so it's, it's more, you know, of a flare, flamboyant. Um, this one, you know, all the growth just kind of shoots straight up, you know, nothing goes downward. And, um, so that's why this planter has its own, uh, uniqueness, its own personality. I'll come close for you to see. So... You can use it, obviously, you can use the wire mannequin for your suit, your dress, whatnot, right? It's pretty much, you know, life size. But um, I'm one of those that think outside of the box. Uh, I have always been that way. Um, repurpose, redesign, rethink, redo, reuse. Uh, that's where I'm coming in from. That's why my shop is R4 Art Creations. R is in the letter R, 4. That's what it is. Reuse, repurpose, redesign, renew. So here's the Epiphylum hookery. This one is um, smaller than the other planter. I think the width is probably 4 inches. 4 inches diameter but look at where it is situated it's in you know the bodice of the planter the upper half of the uh, wire mannequin and I wanted to show you how tall you know the uh, this particular um, uh, greens uh, the uh, what you want to call them leaves or, or stalks um, how tall they are right they're like five feet tall and of course you know it's me that that guided it in the beginning on where to grow depend on the look that i want to achieve um so here's the stem um and um you can see the stigma is the hot pink and I wanted to show you that um, the good news on this planter is I have all these buds coming in. One, two, three, four, five, six, six buds on one stalk. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's more to come to this planter that would give it a completely different look when these six buds, you know, mature. So stay tuned for another follow-up of this planter. Probably, oh, another uh, three weeks. Yeah, it takes three weeks for these buds to become a stem like this and then bloom. 
Oh, the fragrance is just amazing. I just wish you uh, could um, enjoy the fragrance with me here tonight. But this is the best that I could do to share with you. And if you like to grow this particular night blooming beauty, um, you can find it on my shop. Uh, this planter is for sale. And um, so I hope you enjoy this, this video. Here's another final look of the blooms. Enjoy. <laughs> 